Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Jason, or Septic Falcon as many of you know me by, world editor on Hunter's Uprising. Today we're going to take a look at some of the new locations added to our first map by our lead, Rabid, adjustments from the community's feedback like ground clutter and indoor-outdoor lighting, interactable objects like the doors of buildings or cars, for instance, made by our programmer, Danny, and the new weapon animations and model for our AK, as well as a few new custom world assets from our newest member of the team, Faye, who is working on models and texture work. Do keep in mind that we're only about three to four months in development and everything is very much work in progress and subject to change. But with all that said, I hope you enjoy the video highlighted straight from a recent dev stream. We've got the coffee shop, which has got a nice little road going off of the highway north up to the prison. We've got some vehicles parked here. Some wrecks, which is really nice. So yeah, it's a really cool little detailed area. A coffee shop just off the beaten path, but somewhere cool that you can go and find some potential loot. I'll load in with the player character as well in a minute, and we'll show some new animations and weapon stuff as well. I'll just show you the new areas just quickly. The coffee shop's a really nice little addition. So there'll be a lot more little places like this that about. Probably another gas station, maybe. Different gas station uh, type of gas station from what's in the towns uh, in downtown um, loot cash areas where you can re loot up uh, this is the old bunker entrance that's been sealed up for the moment but yeah we'll probably use that idea again down the line and uh, yeah there's lots of potential for ideas of, of bandit camps and things like that yeah we'll have a look at the coffee shop here on foot now it's so good when there's actually loot in here like a, a satchel bag on the back there we can open up and look what's inside and things By the way, don't forget about our friend behind the shop. <laughs> oh, who's hiding behind the shop? Oh, the, uh, there is the, the guy that was fighting for the order. Oh, yeah. Oh, he never got his coffee, did he? Oh, yeah, he never. You know, Starbucks is not what it was. <laughs> He was dying for that cappuccino. Look at that. I'm just going to kind of loop around here and you're going to be able to follow the highway, go into the car park here. And you'll have this massive area. We'll have a little quick sloop around these doors in here. Look at that. Rabbit's been working himself off real hard on this location. Lots of detail. So I might as well load in and show you the AK. Scopes are been implemented as well. We've got a few more scopes. Uh, the zoom's not been added just yet. And we're, we're unsure whether we want um, maybe a bit of blur on the outside of the scope, the rest of the screen, if you've got a two times on like this one. And uh, the, maybe a slight blur, not like a massive blur some games do, but a slight blur where you're focusing down the scope. But this is our first new um, weapon after we added the pistol and the M4. We've got the AK in with all nice animations. So... A lot of first requests from people in this type of game is inspect animations. So we've got an even cooler one for the AK. Ammo check. Again, still hasn't finished quite yet. It shows no ammo. We have reload animations. Two different types for the amount of ammo you've got in your gun. Of course, we are very open to community feedback. 
Oh, heck, I didn't realize they were all Mac. <laughs> That's cool. I'll kind of give you an idea of the distance. We've kind of got a similar distance between points of interest. So the mall will be one. There'll be a boss area here. Loads of loot. Uh, just imagine there's loads of cars here. A load more uh, debris and things. It's not finished yet. This is one of our newest areas. But imagine the, uh, the highway is kind of joined up here to the mall. Run down the highway over to there. There. See the distance. You can see the residential there. Not too close. We'll be adjusting stamina and things. Keep in mind as well, we'll have a bit of a lower FPS in editor as well when it's streaming everything. We will have a few dips here and there. Yeah, you can see this is where I kind of stopped with the highway for now to figure out what we were putting there. Now we know I can connect the highway round, road round. So it's quite a way still between boss areas, the mall to the school. Residential will just be loot, all things. Find and do. We yeah, will have a change of weather. Oh yeah, we're gonna get uh, some weather's rolling in. So we've adjusted the light. One of the feedbacks we had was how harsh the light was from outside to in, and it was still pretty dark compared to how light it was outside. So I'll try and show you that quick before it gets... You can see it's, it's definitely brighter in there, looking in. Not as dark, and inside is a lot brighter than it was. Not really done anything else with school as of yet. Been working on other stuff. And I think we're getting a full-on storm coming. So this is another one of our new additions. This is the interactable doors. As you can see, one of our feedbacks was ground clear. Everything looks a bit tidy on the floor. So we have added a lot more rubbish and debris and things like that. Need to remove the collision though. It looks like I'm kind of walking on a bit of it. Need to remove the uh, collision on those. Um, all the houses should have clutter now. But you can see it's a lot brighter and we're in a storm now so it's darker than it should be. We do with a blood stain here maybe or something or a carpet. So we can see we get wet as well, our, our hands and the gun gets wet in this weather. So we want to be able to loot the vehicles that are around the world. So you should be able to open the boots, the doors, the bonnet and take anything off that's useful. But look at this. Blows all the leaves off the boot and bonnet. I was so impressed when uh, Danny and Rabbit showed me that. I've replaced the boxes that I had dotted around to plan out kind of cover with the barricade system. So you can approach the dive bar or the shop with a bit of cover. that poor guy so we added a bit more cl uh, ground clutter to the shop as well all right mate the shop 
shop. It's got a bit more clutter inside. More detail on the ground. See, it's not as dark as well. Keeping in mind that we have got a storm. The light does dim when there's a storm going on. Outside. Covers up the sun and the skylight. You see the, the light is so much better indoors. Because there's big windows on these buildings. So it should be a bit lighter. I think this is about right. For daytime. see our new flies the fly sound mixed in with our flickering fluorescent bulbs all adds to the immersion and the atmosphere A shiny wet AK. So this is some of phase work here. We've got a wood pallet and a barrel just added a fire effect to make it a bit more survivally. We've got different types of barrels that Faye's made and textured for us. We've got our own getting our own assets in now from Faye. Making a load of cool models for us. Uh, a lot of it's gonna be used in the sewer system when when that's all finished. So this is a new wall as well that Faye has made. So this will be an extraction point here. You'll get to this this door here and kind of in this zone, you'll be able to extract with all your loot. So this is the wall that surrounds the map. Uh, Faye modeled this and textured it for us and the door and all that. So we've got working storage crates now as well. All animated that'll open up and have an item inside. Pretty cool. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this updated look at our progress with Hunter's Uprising. Feel free to leave any feedback in the comments section below. Anything you'd like to see in the survival extraction genre, join our Discord and check out our website. Everything is in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to continue to see updates on the game and any other content I create. But most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time.